Hey class of 2020, I want you to know how incredibly proud I am of you. This has been a very weird year for you, and I know for many of you it has not ended the way that you had hoped. Graduations have been changed or postponed, proms have been canceled, senior activities didn't happen. But I want you to know that in the midst of it all, you still matter. We still see you, we still are celebrating you, your accomplishments still mean so much. I am so thankful that I've been able to be your youth pastor for the past three years I've been here, to walk with you and to see you grow, to see what God is doing in your lives. I am so thankful for each and every one of you, for the laughs that we've had, the jokes that we've shared, the times that perhaps we've cried together, the moments that we've seen God move in great ways in your lives. I will forever remember you. I am so thankful that over the next few years as you transition into college, in the trades, or wherever God leads you, that I still get to be the pastor who shepherds you through 1824. Please know that I love you guys, that you guys mean the world to me, and I am so thankful for all that you have done and all that God is doing in and through you. You are already doing great things, so I'm not going to tell you to go and change the world because you're already doing it. Because God is working through you in powerful ways. You are changing this world as we speak. What I would encourage you to do is to continue changing the world. Continue to be ambassadors for the kingdom of heaven. Continue to be the light this world so desperately needs. Show them the hope and the promise that God offers us. And so as we celebrate this season, I want you to hear from a few people who love you deeply and to hear their messages of hope for you. Hey senior girls, happy graduation during a pandemic. What an eventful season these past couple months have been. It has been such an honor and a privilege to walk alongside of you all during these past four years of your high school at CORE. I am so thankful for the opportunities to learn and grow from you all. And I just pray that as you go out into the next season that you would just be blessed with the truth of God and what you've learned over these past four years as a small group. Love you all and I'm so grateful for you and praying for you. Congratulations, you have finally made it. I just want to encourage you with what God says in Isaiah 41. He says, Do not be afraid, for he is with you. Do not be dismayed, for he is your God. He will strengthen you and help you, and he will uphold you with his righteous right hand. Go through each day with confidence knowing that, and that Jesus is with you always. Again, congratulations. To the seniors, I feel honored and blessed to have walked alongside some of you over these past four years as your core youth leader. I rejoice with you for the many academic things that you have accomplished, culminating in your high school graduation. I am also saddened by the fact that I won't get to see you quite as often and do life with you. Yet above all of these feelings, the one I feel the most is pride. I am so proud of you. I am proud of the way that you have grown in your relationships with each other and primarily in your relationships with Christ. I'm going to miss seeing each of you every Wednesday and Sunday, but I'll be cheering you on in this next chapter of life. Keep your eyes fixed on Christ and continue to run the race that he has set out before you. How amazing it has been to walk through life and through faith with you guys. I know that you have awesome plans for your future, and my prayer is that God would be a part of those plans. God, please raise up these guys to be your leaders. Raise them up to be uh, the ones who change this world. Guys, I love you so much, and um, I will continue to pray for you guys that God would use you in amazing ways. Hey, senior class of 2020, Pastor Craig, I just want to say I'm so thankful to have been a part of your life along with wonderful leaders who have been able to walk with you and journey with you and launch you into what God has for your future. And I just keep thinking about uh, fall retreats at the beach or failed attempts at the beach and having to do alternative options or at the Brumell's Cabin and Camp Orchard Hill and missions trips to D.C. and all the things that we've done together. It has been a lot and it has been fantastic. And I hope that it's helped all of us strengthen our walk with Christ. But guys, I wish you the best. I love you more than you'll ever know. You're never out of my mind and heart. And that is true of every class, yes, because uh, I'm just the shepherd that I am. I love you and I care for you. I'm so glad that you had the experience that you had you know, in high school because all of this 
It's prepared you for where God has you to go next and to be his hands and feet, to be a follower of Christ with what's next. So guys, we just love you and care for you and just look forward to continuing our relationship uh, as you enter into the next phase of your life. Seniors, I hope those messages were encouraging and that they bolstered your spirits, that you heard how loved you are by your small group leaders, by me, and honestly, by our entire church. Know that we have your back. We're going to champion you. We will continue to walk with you. We are for you. I want to share with you just a brief couple of verses from the book of Romans to encourage you today. Listen to what Paul says in Romans chapter 8 beginning in verse 28 and a couple of verses after. He says, We know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Those that God foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those He predestined, He also called. Those He called, He also justified. And those He justified, He glorified as well. What shall we say then in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? And then if we jump down to verse 37, Paul writes this, he says, No, in all things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither life nor death, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. My prayer for you, seniors, is this, is that you know how deeply loved you are by God, that you know that God has called you to himself, that he has said, I love you and I want you to be my child, my son, my daughter. And through him, all things are possible, that nothing going on right now will ever separate you from God's love. And that through God, you can do all things. That God will empower you. Through God, you will change this world. You are changing this world. And through him, he will sustain you. No matter what is happening. And so I hope that you continue to rest in Jesus. That you continue to trust in him. To know that he is with you in all moments of every day for your entire life. Again, I am so proud of you guys. I miss you so much and I hope you know how loved and celebrated you are today.